Let's just talk a little bit about the solution now to a damped force vibration situation. So all we're doing is we're reintroducing this gamma u prime term. And we've already talked about um, the solution to the homogeneous case when the side was zero and there was no um, forcing function. So uh, the, the things to remember, we, we could um, get into a lot of ugly formulas, um, but the things to remember is that we have um, this thing is damped and it's either um, under damped critically damped or over damped. Um, but the point of it being damped is that there's some homogeneous solution u of t and as t gets big, um, the uh, this will go to zero. That's what damped generally means um, qualitatively. So um, what's going to happen is uh, we're then going to find a non-homogeneous uh, particular solution to the non-homogeneous case and that's going to have the form um, a cosine omega t plus b sine omega t and we'll be able to calculate a and b um, by plugging it back into the original differential equation um, but this um, even if one of these drops off as t gets big uh, this does not go to zero notably it's uh, we can rewrite it as a single sine or cosine and it's going to have some amplitude based on the constant right so we could write um, cosine omega t minus delta. We, we've normally done that over here, but we can do it over here too. Um, and so uh, this is going to have some amplitude based on c, and it will not go to zero. So as t gets big, um, the solution is going to look largely like our guess for the non-homogeneous particular solution. Um, so we call this the steady state solution. and then whatever this u of t worked out to be um, is the transient solution. So um, the impact of this will go away as time goes on, and the impact of this um, will be more and more important relatively.